So the first thing that you need to do in order to recover from such a disaster is handle the crisis first. You need to handle the immediate crisis, such as a fire. If there's a fire going on, don't worry about getting your business up and running. Handle the fire first. Always deal with the crisis first, and in all cases, people are more important than the business. If you lose every asset of the business, but your people are okay, you can continue the business. But if you lose all the people, it really doesn't matter whether the business survived or not. It's not going to survive long term. The next step is fairly simple. Follow the disaster recovery plan. Now this seems obvious, but it's also very easy to start making snap decisions and get away from the plan. Here's an example. The reason that disaster recovery plans are so successful if done well and planned out well is because you get to follow a plan as opposed to making important decisions when the heat's on. As an example, pilots work off of checklists in everything they do. As a private pilot, when I approach an aircraft, before I get in the aircraft, I have a pre-flight checklist. Once I get in the aircraft, there's a pre-engine start checklist. Then there's a taxi checklist, pre-takeoff checklist then en route checklist, then pre-landing checklist, and so on and so forth. Everything we do, there's a checklist for. But there's also a checklist for the things that I don't want to ever use, such as an engine fire checklist. Now, I like that checklist because what it does is it tells me if my engine ever catches on fire, and basically what I fly is single-engine aircraft, I'm basically going to be looking at the flames coming up over the windscreen. If that were to ever happen, I don't want to have to figure out what to do. I want to flip to my checklist and say, ah, I know exactly what to do. Step one, step two, and step three. The beauty of such a plan is that the person or the people who put this plan together were sitting at a desk or around a conference table drinking coffee and deciding what the best thing to do would be, not in the air figuring out how they were going to resolve this emergency. That's what we need to learn from a well-implemented disaster recovery plan. We plan it when we're not under the gun to perform. That way, when the pressure is on to perform, you just follow the plan.